Today's experiments are first utilizing our lab-made anti-griddle. If you don't know what an anti-griddle is, it is an extremely cold, flat cooking surface for flash freezing food products. Professional grade anti-griddles are made by the Poly Science Company and keep about a negative 30 degrees Celsius surface. We are making ours using a cast iron stovetop griddle and a bowl of liquid nitrogen. To cool the stovetop griddle first, we place it directly into a large doer of liquid nitrogen and remove it with a metal hanger. It is then placed over a pre-cooled metallic bowl filled with liquid nitrogen. Then we start freezing. First up, Dannon Vanilla Yogurt. The vanilla yogurt was delicious. It had a frozen yogurt layer on each side with a creamy interior. In the close-up, you can see the layers. It looks like an all-yogurt Oreo. Occasionally you want to pour a small amount of liquid nitrogen on the griddle to keep the top cold. We tested the top of our anti-griddle with a thermocouple to see what temperature we were cooking at. And as you can see, we're around negative 60 degrees Celsius. Next up was homemade applesauce. It worked like a charm.
Then there was the packet of Taco Bell fire sauce. We sprinkled the frozen applesauce with a little bit of cinnamon sugar mixture. It was delicious and had the consistency of a frozen fruit leather. The Taco Bell fire sauce disc was split into four pieces and all four of us that were here that night tried a bit. Well alone it was pretty gross, but I can imagine with something else it wouldn't be that bad. James had the best reaction probably because we didn't tell him what it was to begin with. But we didn't get that on camera. Then there were caramel yogurt blinis. Here's a chocolate vanilla swirl. Pudding Blini. Here we have some peanut butter that has been slightly warmed and thinned out with peanut oil. The frozen peanut butter disc was absolutely delicious. Everything up to this point has been quite tasty, including whipped cream out of a can directly on the anti-griddle. To see some of the things that were not as tasty, as well as some other things dropped directly in liquid nitrogen, check out part two.